<laughs> All right. We are now live. Let me just make sure that the audio is fine. Audio is okay on my end for the microphone. Now for the game audio. Ha. Huh. Yeah. Let's just see what the uh what the pip sounds, you know? All right. Hopefully this is okay. Hopefully the audio is fine. I can never tell with Corpse Party, honestly, because their audio mixing is weird. Sometimes it's super loud. Other times it's like really quiet. By default, the music is three times louder than the voices. I don't get it. I don't get it. All right, back. It all looks fine to me. Okay, so last time we played Corpse Party, getting the stream started was a little bit of a mess. <laughs> this time I switched the screens in which the stuff is set up. The game is on the second screen, my bigger screen, which honestly I didn't want to do that because I, I want to have my, uh, want to have the chat within the peripheral. But, um, you know, it's over there. I don't have to finagle with the stuff. And the overlay art officially finished now. And you guys will get to see what the full uh get to see. You guys will get to see what the full art looks like when uh the playthrough goes up on YouTube. But yeah. Uh before we get started, just wanna give a quick thank you. And I really hope I don't fucking butcher this name. For the artist of the overlay that you see right now currently. They did a phenomenal job. It's great. I like it. Their name is... Fuck. I'm so gonna butcher this. You... You... UQ? You, 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 you. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. They are not... They are not a, a native English speaker, by the way. So, I definitely fucked it up. But, yeah. You can follow them in the, um... It's on the About Me page. Their credentials are down there. You can follow them on Pixiv, and um, and they have Instagram too. So if you need commissions from them, uh, I should also put in their uh, their artisan client because they have one they have one there too. That's where I found them on it, and they did a really great job. So super grateful for that. They were easy to work with too. Go check them out. Go get commissions from them. It's great. I love it. I love it. It's amazing. I definitely will ask them to help me out again. In the future um let's see let me just scroll back up so i can have my eyes on the stream whenever it disconnects because last time it disconnected in the middle of the stream so where we last left off we made it to oh god my mouse shows what the fuck let's fix that because sometimes i hover my mouse over the screen like an idiot let me fix that head to properties real quick Capture the cursor? Fuck no. Why would I want you to do that? See, now you'll never see the cursor. You'll never see it again. See, a day has passed since the events of... Shit, what? Oh, my dumbass clicked new chapter. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. No, what did I do? Why did I do that? <laughs> oh no I don't even think you can pause during the fucking uh, during the story bits and this game has very long story bits what is the fast forward button I know there's a fast forward button I pressed it accidentally last time let's see there's a lot of buttons here da -da -da -ba -ba -ba. come on fast forward come on corpse party why you gotta be a pain in the ass sometimes Really? It's none of the letter keys? Are you fucking kidding me? Is it tab? It's not escape. Any of the number keys? No. Enter. Shift and enter? Fucking... It's definitely not that one. Control? Is it alt? Is it control and enter? Fuck. I know there's a fast forward button here somewhere. I pressed it last time. And I don't want to just sit here and mash through it, but we're going to have to fucking mash through it. God damn it, my ass is so dumb for doing this. 
I could, I could, I could just turn off the game. <laughs> but I don't want to fuck up my, uh, I don't want to fuck up my OBS settings. Jesus fuck. Is it not backspace? Oh, hold up. I pressed something. Something happened. Was that backspace? That was backspace. Okay, that brings up the log. Are you fucking kidding me? Maybe it's like F1 or some shit? F10, 11, 12. I'm working this shit like a piano. No. <laughs> Caps lock. I don't know. Guess we don't have a fast forward button, which is weird. Could have sworn we had one. Next time we get to the menu, I'm going to have to fucking check the controls. Hell, do I even remember the default controls? I think we're using WASDA. Pretty sure we're using WASDA. We use WASDA and then uh, E is to interact with things. And I think that's it. And then in the game, I believe escape is the pause button. You are not. You know, of course, party for a PC game, you are not very PC friendly. <laughs> you are not very PC friendly. Also super fucking long. This is the this is the best way to to start a stream. Oh, see, there you go. See, now I'm looking at the volume, and the volume's super fucking loud, because the laughing is super loud. Come on. Yes, the Book of Shadows, I remember. The Ghost Girl has it. Fucking Ayumi was like, yo, let's head into Corpse Party. Let's head into Corpse Party, wow. Let's head into, uh... Elementary host, host elementary. Fuck, what is it called? Heavenly host elementary. She's like, yeah, let's head back to there because we can. She's like, I watched. She's like, listen, I performed a seance. I watched Full Metal Alchemist. I know for a fucking fact how to resurrect a dead body without it fucking up. Listen, I fucked up once. It's okay. My sister's dead now. But I got this. <laughs> I got this. I won't mess it up. I find it weird how Ayumi is always the character who's like, who's like, we gotta do this, man. We have to do this. But she's the most, like, scaredy out of all of them. <laughs> the moment she steps foot somewhere, she's just like, I'm so useless. I can't do it. And then everyone else who is useful goes like, can we get the fuck out now? <laughs> They're like, we can't do this no more. They're dead. Not only, not only that Mayu like got resurrected and it was all fucked up, but now you re-fucked up her death. So instead of living in pain and agony of getting her fucking uh, face smashed into a wall, now she's running around with no face at all. She's reliving two deaths. Yeah, Iko's just fucking evil. <laughs> I was hoping Iko wouldn't be evil. I was hoping she'd be a good person. Alright. Get a little gameplay section here. Also, I find it a little weird that they're like... They're like, here's this romantic subplot between... Between uh, Yoshiki and fucking... And fucking Ayumi, right? They're like, here's the subplot, but guess what? Remember, any girl who gets married in your family won't... <laughs> the fucking husband will die. And this dude is just like, you know what? Fuck it, I don't care. He's gonna get some, and then he's gonna die on his death... He's gonna be on his deathbed. He's gonna be like, it was worth it. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Uh, no, what was it? It was Wazda? Wazda, yep. Load game. It's this one, right? No, it's not that one. It's the one all the way at the fucking bottom. Yes. There we go. 
now we're back where we left off. And this is what's going to be difficult for me. I'm going to have to... I'm going to angle my fucking... I don't want to angle my microphone too close to my mouth because I don't want people hearing me breathing. <laughs> I don't want you to hear me going... Be my mouth breather shit going... <sighs> Alright, um, let's see. Why is the... What was the run button? It's space. The run button is fucking space? Wait, what? Why? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Um, I remember they taught, they taught, they t can't fucking speak. They taught me how to hide. And I'm not sure if this save point was before or after they gave me that wonderful jump scare. Oh, it was definitely after. That's for sure. So she came in here with the random dude, right? Dude who looked like he just came out of fucking... He looked like he just came out of like a certain magical index or some shit. I don't know. I never watched that anime, by the way. <laughs> Someone always recommended it to me. Let's see. Should be something. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Back. Because back here is... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, gotta be careful with the cracks on the floor. And this was a name tag? Oh, bandage. So when I get fucked up, I can wrap myself up. So far, playing the game, I mean, we haven't <laughs> we haven't done that much gameplay, but so far, it seems like... It seems... Oh, my fucking God. That is so loud to me. Options. Oh yeah, controls, by the way. Dialogue, space, QTE option. Whoa! No! Skip dialogue is left shift. Suck it, you liar. It totally fucking wasn't. Left shift, my ass. Oh, I have a flashlight. Forgot about that. Switch characters. Ooh. Uh, let me see if I can... Do I want to change the run button? No. No, I shouldn't. Uh, da -da -da -da. menu, open menu, menu next. Okay, well, done that. Wait, wait a minute. What did I just see? A signed controller? You son of a bitch. <laughs> you son of a. All right, well, next time, definitely not doing that now. We're not doing that live on stream. We will be here for like a good minute. Jesus, fuck. Finally, a controller setting. Um, I wanted to just run over here to the settings real quick. Check out the sounds. Sometimes this is pretty loud, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I don't want to lower the menu, uh, the music. Because it seems like it's fine on the recording, even though it's loud in my headset. No, I can just, I can just, hold up. I just go to my headset and just lower it. That wouldn't affect the recording. Just lower that down, put that all the fuck the way down. Oh, you guys definitely heard that, though. <laughs> Alright. Save settings. Yes. Back to the game. Alright, cool. Back to the game, damn it. So, I grabbed the plank. Instantly forgot. Instantly forgot! Because I'm a fucking idiot. There's the piss bucket we all know and love. Alright. I'll just overwrite this. Yeah, overwrite that save, no problem. I just don't want to go back and grab the fucking thing. And there I go, leaving the mouse in front of my fucking game. <laughs> you guys can't see it, but I definitely did it. Alright, loose board. Should be able to cross now. And this is where the fucking... The jump scare that's not even that scary, but got me just because it was like instantaneous. Huh?
like just random, just completely random, just got me. That actually got me last time. Okay, we can, let's see, it says skip dialogue. It does skip dialogue. How come you didn't work last time then? Yeah, Mayu's gonna turn around. She's got no face. She's a no face. Aha. Uh -huh. I love how determined she is. She's like, aha! Uh -huh. I can hide in here. <laughs> Take that, you fucking ghost. Alright. Red circle will display. Heads moves farther away. Turn it green. And it'll be clear. And you press E to exit. My only problem is that. First of all, the spirits follow you into rooms. And second of all, fucking, um. Mayu was in the goddamn way <laughs> last time. Alright, press the confirm button to exit your hiding spot. And then I walked over here because I was like, oh man, it's, it's gonna be okay. But it's not. It's not gonna be okay because she was down here. I love how she fucking s oh shit what the fuck oh there's glass on the ground now I wonder if I can run a circle around her ass ha ha and you can't run 100% of the time because you tire out oh shit Get away from me. Who the fuck are you? Yuki? Yuki. Help me. Wait, Yuki like the little girl? Isn't she evil now? My chin smashed against the floor and the wind was completely knocked out of me. My entire field of vision turned white as if I had been drenched in some unholy... Phos wait what? Phosphor phos phosphoret what the fuck? Phos phosphorescence? Is that a word? Jump scare? Yuki? Who the fuck is that? Then everything went black. Various various indi what? What the fuck? What's going on in What's going on back there? I heard something in my house. <laughs> Alright. Various and distant forms blurred together in front of my eyes, and all of a sudden, it felt as if my body, but my mind had been shattered to pieces. Wait, what? If not my body, but my mind has been shattered to pieces. I completely skipped the word. Oh, I got an achievement! It's called returning. Achievement get. Achievement unlocked. EVP entries for Yoshi Shinozaki has been unlocked. New Sakopedia. Alright, bunch of fucking characters. Closed spaces. <laughs> Spirit items. Another achievement called Shadows. Would you like to save? Yes, I would. I would very much not like to get chased by a ghost again. Chapter 2. Respective desires. I can't read that. <laughs> Where's the subtitles? Spiritual report. Witnesses to these brutal attacks. Today's eyewitness info comes from this residential home near Majuro Station. Can you hear me at the studio? On this map, we've marked the locations of each of the recent bizarre deaths that have occurred throughout this area. As you can see, the sudden deaths of a female middle schooler. Oh yeah, I remember. She got her fucking back broken. <laughs> it was weird. She started floating in the air. Just the other day occurred not far from here, in the Majiro area. That is fairly near your location. Yes, the police are investigating all possibilities on both the suicide and homicide spectrum. However, literally snapped the person's spine. Wait, what? I felt like there's a couple of words missing there. However, literally snapping a person's spine in two is seemingly impossible prospect. 
and the mystery is compounded by the fact that, outside of broken backs, these victims suffer no other wounds whatsoever. I know who did it. It was Bane. He walked in and said, you merely adopted the darkness. I was born in it. And he fucking put him over their knee. <laughs> he put him over his knee. And he just broke their backs. Are you saying their spines may have somehow snapped on their own? As opposite to being broken by someone else? That's right. It's been theorized that this may have been some form of, uh, some form of a strange new disease that affects a person's bone structure. This guy. This is the face of a man I don't trust. <laughs> All of this happening in a humble place like Mejiro, which remains quiet and friendly despite its placement along the Yamano Yamanote hmm. train route towards Ikibukuro and the Toshima Ward. We give our regards to those affected by this tragedy and hope for a swift end to this macabre epidemic. Macabre. That's a word you don't see that much. That just... Isn't it just pronounced macabre? You don't pronounce the rest of it, do you? I don't know. Fucking... I'm not a... I'm not a... I'm not a scholar. <laughs> I was born in the ghetto. I taught myself how to read. <laughs> TV's on, huh? Guess she's home. I was about to head into her room and scold her for wasting electricity like that, but was sidestruck... So, sidetracked when I heard fax machine accept a call and begin printing. Once the contents have been fully transmitted, I grabbed the printout from the machine and took a look at it. Product order sheet as expected. PL Promotions Co. Inc. Co. Inc. Corporations Incorporated? Using two? Two of those? I don't think that's how that's supposed to work. No room to write perfect life anymore, I guess. But when does she add the Co. into it? This company of hers is quite the enterprise. Kosha's company though, right? I don't know. I sat down in a chair at my desk and produced the pouch- Wait, produced. Yeah, produced the pouch containing the Ever After Stone. Or rather, the pouch that was supposed to contain the Ever After Stone. Once I slipped it open and turned it upside down, however, a plain ordinary marble rolled out instead. My. Well played, Kishinuma, you fucking pickpocket. Not that it matters. I took the red box out of my bag and shuffled through the shattered pieces of rocks inside, ultimately finding what I sought. A clump of white clumped paper. A clumped, crumpled paper. What the fuck is wrong with me? Carefully unfolding it, I produced an another two Ever After Stones, virtually identical to the ones now in Ayumi and Yoshiki's possession. I found another pair, you see. Ha <laughs> ha! Y'all motherfuckers thought y'all was slick. That's why I had the second pair, and I never showed it to you. I slotted the stones together in the proper positions, and then sat back down and stared intently at them as they glowed menacingly from my desk. They're just glowing menacingly! I was planning to go to Heavenly Host with or without you, after all. I guess we're even now. Huh? My phone buzzed, alerting me that I just received an email. The sender displayed simply read, eh. New phone, who dis? Subject, whereabouts known? Body of mess. Wait, what? Body of message. Okay, yeah. So the, the, the actual email. Book of Shadows is in Nirvana. Obtain it, and you'll be handsomely rewarded. Spirit item auctions, powered by, fu, What the fuck? Futhark? I don't know how to pronounce that. Spirit item auctions. Hmm. Wish I knew where this info was coming from. Either way, the Book of Shadows location has now been confirmed, and the timing couldn't be better. It'd be a race then, since I was just about to head to the Nirvana myself anyways. The air around me was glowing heavier as the stones bumped the room full of unholy energy. Just waiting for my just waiting for the magic words to whisk me away. I grinned, then separated them. Let's see if I can get the book of shadows before poor little Ayumi does. I never truly intended to work with those two. I mean fuck those guys, am I right? I just wanted to get closer to them. For this task, the Obsessor and I will be- uh, What? Obsessor? Hm. And I will be more than sufficient. We just need to act before the- Before the meddlesome girl finds out I have these. 
I clasped my hands together, planted my elbows on the desk, shut my eyes, and rested my chin on my thumbs as I attempted to sort out my next move. A wry smile slowly crept across my face. This isn't like me at all, is it? Consuming myself with one single object for this long. Sorry, Ayumi, but you can't bring people back from the dead with black magic. It's just not that simple, you fucking moron. I rocked back and forth in my chair and let out a long sigh. It had been quite a day. Articles of the deceased through... Uh, <clears throat> articles of the deceased, though, are another matter entirely. I simply must bring back a spirit item imbued with the soul of its owner, a vessel through which he or she can speak. I smiled again as I stretched my arms. Maybe I can pack my good friend's Naho into a spirit item and make her part of my collection. Oh man, you're fucked up. <laughs> this hobby of mine has turned me into a monster. Oh, well, at least she knows it. <laughs> but I just can't wait. I controlled my body to get a better view of the picture frame I positioned on the corner of my desk. Controlled. Contorted. My bad. It was just about the cheapest photo frame money could buy. Totally not in keeping with anything else in my room. It housed the very first first photo sticker I have been... Wait, what? It housed the very first photo sticker. Photo sticker? Photo sticker. Really? That's what they call them? Okay. Ever taken with Naho and Sayaka. Oh, she's friends with them? Or used to be? Oh, man, those two are fucking dead. <laughs> the two of them were smiling and hugging each other while I was awkwardly standing behind them, looking like a looking a little sheepish. I was like, man, look at these fucking lesbians. What the hell? It was the first and only time we'd ever gotten our photo taken together. I guess the planet must have aligned just right for us that day. I took the frame in both hands and studied it intensely. Then after, I don't even know how long, I noticed that the figures in it were getting kind of blurry. Oh yeah, because they're super dead. I wanna- wait, hold up. Wait, they both died in the school and their photos are still there? They didn't get completely fucked up? Why is that? I wanted nothing more than to hear their voices again. I rubbed my eyes and realized that my biggest wish was just to talk with them, just one more time, so I can fucking penny and dime their asses. Naho. I don't know what came over me, but I just started hugging the frame. No more words, no more movement. I just sat there with my friends. Welcome back, I. With a start, I separated myself from the photo and clumsily placed the frame back on my desk. What do you want? Don't just let yourself in my room. It's been a while, I. I had some time on my hands, so I decided to stop in. Have you been doing well? Or not so well, perhaps? Don't you worry. I've been doing just fine. But you! You need to stop leaving the TV on. It attracts spirits. Oh my, I'm very sorry. I just get so lonely when I'm here by myself, so I turn it on for, uh, noise. That's not weird at all. <laughs> not the TV part, the way she said it. She's like, I turn it on for, um, noise. Yeah. You touching yourself? Are you touching yourself and like using the TV so people don't hear you? So the neighbors don't hear your screams of pleasure? I stood up and tried to push past her into the hallway. Will you just let me through? I'm thirsty. Here. With a slightly embarrassed smile. Uh. How the fuck do I pronounce her name? Kwon? I'm just gonna go with Miss K. I'm gonna stick with Miss K. That's what I've been using. Miss K <laughs> She's calling her own sister Miss K. Miss K revealed a glass of, of barley tea that she'd been hiding under her back. Under her back? Why the fuck I said that? Behind her back. You always did have a knack for knowing what people wanted, right when they want it. It's a little off-putting. Hmm? Do I? I just figured you'd probably be thirsty, that's all. What a remarkable house guest. Even though she's not really a house guest, she's a... Not house guest, what am I saying? I was gonna say hostess. That's what I meant. But she's not a hostess. I live here. 
With a smirk, I took the glass from her and chugged the tea. Drinking it up. As I drank, I found myself eyeing the white wristwatch on her arm. The soft glowing blue numerals on the display were surprisingly fetching. This was clearly not a cheap watch. She clearly had dollar dollar bills, y'all. I don't know how you do it. Working as a big wing CEO and moonlighting as a high school teacher, it's pretty impressive stuff. No, no, it's nothing. I just like making people happy, that's all. Always the same with her. She has no idea the kind of burden her effortless genius places on other people around her. And on top of it all, that my older- wait, what? On top of all that, my older sister here was also astonishingly sensitive to the spiritual energy as well. She certainly didn't, didn't leave a lot left for me to specialize in. Becoming CEOs has actually made my day job a lot easier, giving me the opportunity to achieve that old dream of becoming a teacher. I consider myself rather blessed. You son of a bitch, you lucky bitch. God damn it, I'm out here fucking around with ghosts and you're sitting there moonlighting as a teacher. Miss Kay claps her hands together in front of her, almost as if in a prayer. She wasn't acting. She was truly happy. Well, that's good. Thank you for the tea. I'll be heading out now. A little too happy I, did. <laughs> I didn't need to feed the beast with a dismissive jester. I handed her my glass and began packing my bag. I couldn't stick around any longer. I? What are those stones? I'm sensing a very significant power from them. Never you mind, they are my stones. I'm going to go fuck with ghosts now. Goodbye. What do you care? Leave me alone. You're not my real mom. My sister was better than me in particularly everything. I wasn't about to let her horn in on this now, too. Hmm. I tried to maintain a cold, tough exterior as I finished gathering my things. Inside, I honestly felt kind of bad, but I couldn't let up. You need to stop worrying about me. I'll see you again, okay? In like half a year, probably. Good luck with your work. Okay, thanks. See ya. Hey, I? I think I might be in love with someone. Oh, what the fuck? What is good? What? What is good with the... What the fuck is the main character's name even? Satoshi? What's good with that guy? Why is he attracting everybody? I certainly wasn't expecting that. I sprung on my... I spun on my heels and looked... Looked Miss K straight in the eyes. Her cheeks were rosy red. I'd never seen her this way before. Really? That's good to hear. But I wasn't gonna let her pull me in. I continued to be as cold as I could muster with her, speaking in short, broken sentences. Finally, without another word, I managed to escape. She turned around, she said, Ha, you almost got me. But I will not fall for that. Ko and I lived on the 40th floor of a rather high-class apartment building. High-class apartment building? Why didn't you just get a fucking- You know what? I guess because it's Tokyo, right? I'm assuming they're in Tokyo. It's just a bunch of- It's not that many uh, residential areas. They're like all out of the way. In Tokyo, you don't pay for the apartment itself. You pay for like- You pay for the location. <laughs> Which sucks. Okwan was always busy with her work at PL Promotions Co. Ink. I don't like that. So she spent most nights at company housing instead. That made this apartment more or less a single for me. It was all mine. It was all mine. My precious. Now Koan was working a second job as a teacher too. It's like there was no talent she didn't possess. I called it impressive before, but honestly, it was kind of creepy. Who the fuck are you? Niwa. Alright, I'm gonna butcher his fucking name. Haruyuki? Did I keep you waiting? No. No. Not at all. You're going... You're going through, right, Niwa? I'm ready. Let's do this. Oh, he's coming with us? Sayaka. Please be alive. I'm coming for you. Oh no, that girl is super dead. I've got water. And food. A man after my own heart. 
Naho's friend, Sayaka Ue. Ue? I believe, I believe that's how you pronounce that. She's definitely cute. So much that she actually did some modeling. She was all, she was always right at Naho's side, supporting her in everything she did, including her spiritual investigations. And right at Sayaka's side, always constantly confessing his undying love and devotion, was her classmate, Haruyuki. He got good spiritual sens sensitivity, but, well, he's a bit overly optimistic. Notoriously so, and Sayaka never took his advances very seriously. Not that they never stopped him. Wait for me, Sayaka. I hate seeing a light like that die out. It's painful to watch. Haruyuki, I haven't confirmed this for certain, but based on my intel, Naho's dead. Which means Sayaka might also... Well, you know. You should probably be prepared for the possibility. She's not dead! Oh, you poor, poor summer child. Sinoki was with her. So if Sinoki died, then I'm certain she died shielding Sayaka from harm. And if so, and if, wait, and if so, and if she did, then we have to be doubly sure we save her, so that Sanoki won't have died in vain. Too many goddamn names. Calling people by their first names and last names. How am I supposed to keep up with all this? Japan, you confuse them. I get the desire to believe that, but if Naho Sanoki, of all people, died in there, what possible chance do you think a normal human would have? Who was that? Remember when Corpse Party was just about some fucking dumbass teenagers and, like, one little girl who went to, like, a fucked up, like, haunted place? And now look at all this anime shit. <laughs> we got no business over there. You got no business over there, Aiko. This expedition is pointless. Stand down. Magiri? 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 How did she find out? Damn, she's fast. I know you. You transferred in recently. I'll give you one thing, Aiko. You did well finding a viable means of getting into Nirvana. I've warned you countless times not to try getting in the bet, not try to get in the better of me. However, so what's it gonna? Wait, what? I felt like the. I feel like those sentences just didn't connect naturally. <laughs> Made me stutter! I'm in. I warned you countless times not to try and get the better of me, however. So, what's it gonna be? How about you hand those stones over to me like a good little girl? What? I don't think so. I have plans of my own for them. Well, I can't use Ayumi Shinozaki's anymore since that shithole hoodie punk got jump on them. So, the ones you've got are my only options. Now, aren't they? And I'm through with failure. Hand them over, or I'll kill you. Simple, no? Got the jump on them, so Ayumi's already in heavily host then? Mizuki, here. Shut up or I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> oh, my bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I spoke without your permission. You fucking peasants should just <laughs> should just let your what? let yourselves be slaves to fate like everyone else. It's hell, hell a lot easier. What are you saying? Isn't it customary to address upperclassmen with some, some god, monochrome, monochrome? I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that. With some respect, maybe I rem may I remind you, I'm a year ahead of you, and frankly, I never much cared for you to begin with. <laughs> You're just making it easier to justify slicing you to ribbings. Keep on fanning the flames, upperclassman Aiko. It's your funeral. And it's our goodbye. Hold on to me, Haruyuki. Is this... It's magic. You owe me. I gave you that info on Yoshiki. Or is money all you care about, you filthy gold digger? Simple answer? Yes, bitch. 
Don't you know, the Book of Shadows is over there. Once I get my hands on it, I'll happily sell it to you for the right price. Oh, damn, she has a scythe? Where did that come from? Nirvana, I summon the dead. Success. Unbeknownst to me, at least for another few moments, Magari had managed to snatch the two ever stones from my hands at the last possible moment. They were now in her possession. That's not good. <laughs> that means we're stuck on the other side. They're mine. I can't believe it. Now I can jump to Nirvana anytime I like. I think I've earned myself some free time. Hmm. Hard to believe Ayumi Shinozaki beat me to the punch, though. Who else survived the Nirvana again? Ah, right. That little fungus made it back, too, didn't she? Perfect. I know just the person I can send to look into. What? What fungus? Talking about, uh, talking about Satoshi's sister? Maybe. Is this Heavenly Host? Ow, what is this? Where are the stones? My palm had a perfectly straight cut all the way across, practically, bisi practically bisecting my hand. It was bleeding quite a bit and hurt like hell. You see how he popped from, he popped from under the fucking, like, cabinets over there? Just, like, a little fucking weasel. I quickly searched my pockets, but there was no trace of the Ever After Stones. They were gone. Niwa? I saw what happened just before we jumped. Mizuki managed to swipe the stones with her scythe. What? Without those stones, we can't go back. We'll be trapped here forever. Oh, we're fucked. We will? You're taking this pretty lightly. But no, we'll be fine. Girl named Ayumi should have the other pair. We just need to meet up with her before she leaves here. We can tag along. Okay. But Niwa before that. Huh? We should look for her. She's in here, right? Sayaka? Yeah, probably fucking dead. Typical hierarchy. Thy love before thy own self. It's awfully dark here. Should I light one of my candles? No need for that, Niwa. Fire's dangerous, so here. <laughs> Trust me. Haruki pulled the monstrously huge flashlight from his back pocket. Oh, I don't think it came from his back pocket. I'm pretty sure that came from somewhere else, especially with a face of joy like that. Then shone it up from under his chin, campfire tail style. He started making faces, obviously hoping I'd be amused. I wasn't. Yeah, I think that'll work. Whenever I did that to Sayaka, no matter how... No matter how down in the dumb she was, she always cracked a smile. I get kicked back and blue. I get kicked black and blue afterwards, but it was totally worth it. That's why I bought it. Never considered that a spiritual plane like this might be pitch black, though. Guess I thought ahead without even knowing it. If I were Sayaka, I'd be thrilled to have a childhood friend who was so utterly devoted to me. I wonder what it is she doesn't like about him. Hmm. Oh, nothing. Come on, let's go. I came here to find some physical remnant of Naho and to track down the grimoire known as the Book of Shadows. Haruki came here to find Sayaka, and in order to get back to our own world, we have no choice but to locate Ayumi Shinozaki as well. Guess we have our work cut out for us. Switch characters. Okay, when traveling in a party of two or more, press this button to switch characters. 
Whoever makes the whoever takes the lead will be more susceptible to incurring okay to damage traps hazards. All right. Is that the only thing? They're just basically like a, a second health bar. Okay. Well, let's see what we can find. That was pretty shocking, though. Just who is Mizu who's just uh, that, that 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 can't read. Just who is that Mizuki girl, anyways? What do you know about her, Niwa? Can you keep a secret, Haruyuki? Mizuki's a member of... Of what? Martubas? Martubas too? Is that how you pronounce that? A secret society based on an ancient order of black mages. A secret society in Japan. Of course in Japan! Where the fuck... Uh, for real? <laughs> You're surprised about that? Japan, the land of mm, touch me tentacle baby. Like what? You're surprised that a secret society lives in there? Huh, like the Freemasons or the Illuminati, except much more brazen. Unlike others, more renowned and respected secret societies, the whatever the fuck their names are, are ready and willing to break the law. Isn't that what all secret societies do? Isn't that all they ever do is break the law? Supposedly, their entire... Their... What? Their... Their recipe? I've never seen that word before a day in my life. It's defined by... is defined and structured around content of ancient grimoires. Wow, hard to believe there could be a person like that... In trim... In trembling? In term... In term uh, intermingling! That's a word. I know it. With us at school. Goes to show you just... Uh, just show that you just never know. There's all sorts of people out there. They're just the beginning. You probably have no idea who your neighbors are, really, right? And they have no idea who you are. But Sayaka knows everything about me. You're a special case. You're a special boy. <laughs> you show the world over 200% of who you are. Anyways, just be careful around M Mizuki. She won't treat you as a regular classmate anymore. She'll definitely kill you on sight. What the fuck is that in the background? Is that a flesh wall? Oh, hey, is this the bathroom? Yeah, it looks like it. I hate to ask, Nima, but would you mind if I stop them for a sec? I've been holding in for a while. Why the fuck didn't you go before we leave? You have? Alright then, go ahead, I'll be waiting. Thanks, be right out. You are so gonna die in there. Can't believe Sayaka trapped in this creepy old place like this. What's wrong? Niwa, is this? Yes, it's a dead body. We're in a haunted place. What'd you expect? Is it real? Sure looks like it. Oh, and this? I'm feeling a lot of spiritual energy coming from that ring. You sure it's safe? Yes, yeah. There's no need to worry. The ring itself is nothing special. Just cheap, mass-produced piece of jewelry. But this particular ring bears an endless grudge for the one who owned it, making it a truly sp uh, spectacular spirit item. One of the best I've ever encountered. Are you gonna take it? Of course! A sinister spear item like this is a rare find. I'm certain we'll find many others in here many others in here who died in utter despair. Okay, Junko. <laughs> and where the <laughs> and where there's despair, there's bound to be more artifacts of this caliber. If you come across any other bodies, be sure to let me know, okay? Okay. Don't forget, that's not why we're here. We're here to save Sayaka and Shin and uh, I was about to say Shinazaki and Sainoki. Got it? The name tag rests besides the corpse. Awagawa University High Class 1C. Ukiyo Ukiyo Abe? Let out after throat was stabbed. Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> that's bad. Sorry to keep you waiting. All done? Let's get going. 
Also, don't touch my hand. Don't, don't, just don't touch me, because I know the sinks did not work in there. Oh, now I'm playing as him. I saw something in there, though. I'm going back in. Saw this. I want to see what the hell this was about. There's something in the sink. Oh, bandage. Okay, cool. Now, I would like to check this out over here. Ayumi. Maybe Shidazaki. Sayaka, come out, please. Oh my god, look, he's already in tears. Jesus. I'm not sensing anyone right now. Not even a single soul, surprisingly. Maybe because the only way we get here... Only, uh, God damn it. Maybe because the only way to get here anymore is by way of those stones. Though there hasn't been an influx of victims coming through here like before. Which is a good thing. But it means we won't have any uh, anyone around to come to our aid if we need it. Just where are you, Sayaka? Are you all alone, scared and shivering in the dark? Sayaka, please! Oh, she's dead dead. What's that? What's wrong? The walls. Look, what is that? Could it be the Nirvana breaking down? Whatever it is, is really disturbing. Why is this the only place affected? I don't know, it's pretty gross. I bet, like, something's gonna come spawning from it. I'm gonna get chased down this hallway, ain't I? Small magic circles and pagan symbols were drawn in red paint. <laughs> red paint. Okay. The circular portions of this graffiti were all roughly palm-sized. What are these? Why does he seem so happy about it? I wouldn't touch those, Haruki. We're better off not messing with things we don't understand. All right. The circles drawn on the far wall were much larger and more menacing. And mixed in uh, with the... Wait, what? And mixed in... And mixed in with them was a child-sized handprint. This building is a lot more nightmarish inside than I imagined it to be. Oh yeah, trust me. I can tell. This dude is like so happy, like walking around. He's all like, man, this is a creepy place, isn't it? And then on like a drop of a dime, he fucking just loses his mind. I wonder where the Book of Shadows could be. Could these symbols be related to it in some way? Hmm, maybe. What's in here? Sounds of angry spirits? Well then fuck that! <laughs> what? You hear angry spirits through that door? Well then I'm not going through that door. Plain and simple. Simple and clean is the way that you are making me feel tonight. Let me just... Let me just save again. Just in case I die and I, you know, don't want to read that shit all over. Alright, let's see. I'm afraid to start running because I might just instantly get chased by something. And I don't want to run out of stamina. Admit it. You hate all your friends. Eventually, you'll kill one another. Admit it. I've been saying that since day one. <laughs> I have no friends. What's this? Oh, such repleasant malice. Repleasant? Repl Replendent? Hmm. Words. Too big for me. So resentful. So envious. Whoever wrote this crew must have have all must have lost all measure of sanity. This flyer's lovely spirit item, all on its own. I must have it. Niwa. I love how she's just like with a smile walking around. She's like, "Fuck the dead! I'ma take your shit. <laughs> I take your shoes." Wretched, pitiable, wonderful. What? Pitiable, wonderful? Oh! <laughs> shit! It would seem the spirit in possession of this particular item didn't much care for my joy at its suffering. A black shadowy figure emerged from the paper and poised itself to attack us. Oh no, you don't. Then I backhand that motherfucker. 
<laughs> this was no problem at all. I quickly slid a talisman out from my plastic card case and slapped it right in the forehead on the longing black spirit. Oh wow, that was simple. A sound not unlike that of a ricocheting steel echo through the hallway. And as the darking as darking, as the dark presence found itself forcibly banished back into the cursed flyer. Masterfully done. Whoa. We're not the hunted in here. We're the hunters. And then fucking attack on Titan starts playing. <laughs> we are the Jaegers. Still banishing the card, uh, still brandishing the card case, I struck an anime-style pose and grinned triumphantly. Do you know Sonoki used to do the same exact victory pose? Oh, how embarrassing. Well, you have to hurry and find something of Naho's in here. A spirit item. You're not planning to harm Naho like that too, are you? Maybe. That bitch try to attack me, I'll fucking slam this shit in her face. Well, that all depends on her, now doesn't it? In actuality, I was furious over the loss of Naho. I just wasn't letting it show. I wanted to obliterate all the low-level spirits that filled this place with their malice. I wanted revenge. This was personal, and it took everything I had to quell those instincts. Within Heavenly Hosts, malicious entities may chase you down and attack you. If they touch you... If they touch you in the bad spots, you will lose HP. Okay, lowering your darkening meter. If you're in possession of the talisman, however, the entity will be banished. But do note that each spirit subdued will cause you one talisman, so keep a close eye on your stock. So, are we playing by like Resident Evil rules? Choose which ones to banish, which ones to just run past? Obtain talisman. So. Is it just one talisman that I have? Oh, I only have one talisman. Ooh. Damn, girl, you should have brought like a whole stack of that shit. You should have brought like three stacks. You should have hoarded that shit like it was Pokemon cards. That's what you should have done. Hmm. Let's see. Up the stairs I go. Like in any good horror movie, you run upstairs if you want to die. What the? Neewa, look out! Huh? Oh, it's a tripwire! <laughs> look at him, he's like, almost got you. If you walked into the piano string- wait, what? Into the piano wire strung this- th this taut? What? <laughs> Did you have a stroke? Did I have a stroke? It could easily slice you in two! Oh, shit. That's not good. Was this a booby trap laid by one of the victims who came to this school, perhaps? No, it couldn't be. Such like a deep spiritual energy emitting from within it. So, it was set by the ghost, then? I believe so. Or maybe the space itself created it. Whatever the case, we should consider ourselves under attack in here and proceed with caution. Oh. Oh, now you want to proceed with caution. Okay, okay, cool. No, no problem. Completely agree. Thank you, Haruki. Touching a wire trap, uh, touching a wire trap will trip it, significantly lowering lead character's HP. You can break the wire without tripping it by interacting. Okay. There's wire. The wire has been safely removed. What the fuck are you gonna do about it? You need to hurry up and die, like the others. Fuck you! Talk to me like that. Oh god, all these splotches on the floor. Oh, what the fuck? what I step on? Was there a wire there? Oh, fuck you, camera angle. It's dead end. We should go back. Hold on a sec, Niwa. Can we use that plank for something? Maybe, if I can just scoop my boodle over here. I got it. Caught under the desk. I don't think of, I don't think I can get it myself. 
Would you do the honors, Haruki? Sure, you would need a big, strong man like me to do things. Out of the way. Hoof ha, hoof ha. Somehow or another, Haruki was able to free the loose wind because I am a big, strong man. Manly man. Only a man truly knows how to handle wood. Okay? How to handle the hard, long pieces of wood. Alright, first of all, inventory. I didn't got fucked up already. Now I feel better. I'm invincible. You can't stop me. Let's see. More pentagrams. Huh. Well, that's blocked. Not gonna try. What's this over here? Oh, I thought I could interact with that. Okay. Well, down the steps we go. Turning is a pain in the ass. I'm definitely gonna have to set up a controller next time I stream this. Oh, shit. And downstairs just leads to this. Name tag, rest on the corpse. Sabu Sabotai? Hmm. Sabotai. Strangulation by a friend gone mad. Ooh, that's not good. Hey, at least they, at least you got to look into their pretty eyes before you died, all right? Strangling them. Tell me if my eyes are pretty. You have pretty eyes. Don't kill me. Okay, well, where the fuck do I go now? Right. Let's see, can I go in here? Sounds of angry spirits emanating from within the room. Best not to go in there right now. And what about here? Okay, so that's that leads to the same room. I forgot. I forgot, you know, Japan in their classrooms, they have two doors. Oh, now I'm tired. Let's see, I think there was a doorway upstairs. And I ignored it because fucking what's his face? Haruki was like, well, it's a dead end. Guess we can't go nowhere. Oh, well. Guess we're fucked. So I'm going to walk over here. Wait, hold up. Was there? There was nothing over there. Okay, cool. What's in here? Oh, it's a bathroom. Name tag. Burned to death after being set on fire. Desperately search for water till the end. Ooh. That's even worse. And what's this? Something's gonna come busting out that fucking bathroom. There's something on the floor. Batteries. For my flashlight. That I never use. Oh. <laughs> I have a question. Is it dark for you guys? <laughs> Cause it's not for me. I just looked at the fucking, uh, I just looked at the screen. Is it dark for you guys? I feel like it might be dark for you guys. Hold up. Let me, <laughs> let me, let me fix that. I'm like, it's so easy to see. Why would I need the flashlight? And then I look at the recording and I'm like, oh, it's kind of dark. Infinite battery. I don't want to do that now. brightness I'll kick it up a bit I don't want to make it too bright oh that looks very bright <laughs> that looks very bright on my screen uh oh uh oh see that looks fine on the recording but the menus look super bright I'm gonna keep it at this I think this is fine all right so we got batteries and then up here was a dead end. Maybe I can interact with it. Check it out. I don't want to touch it. Because I might hurt myself. Hmm. No. Was there a doorway near the entrance where we came where we came in from? Let's see. Oh, don't run on the glass. Let's not do that. We also grabbed ourselves a wooden plank, so maybe we can 
do something with that. Doors affixed to the wall. Okay. Where would I put the wooden plank at? Oh. I didn't even... Don't want to make that crack fall. I didn't even see this over here. There we go. Now how the fuck... That won't hurt me? I guess it won't hurt me. Hm. Door won't budge. There... Is this a hiding spot? Trap wire... Trap wire across the floor here. Oh, I didn't even see that! Holy shit! I went to check the cabinet, and I didn't even see the fucking wire next to me! Wow! That was really... That was really hidden there. I could have fucked myself up. I should check the... I should check the fucking remains, shouldn't I? What's going on over here? Check... Check it out. That's a skeleton, right? That is a skeleton. Why can't I check it out? Okay, never mind. What's going on with you? Ayori. Consumed unknown substance to strave off hunger, poisoned herself. Oh, God. Something on the floor. It's a bandage. Good old bandage. Make me feel good. Oh, it's a save point. A hiding locker. I'm gonna get chased. You can run, but you can't hide. I will chase you till you die. Hmm. Sounds like a person after my own heart. Is that a piano? See, now I look at their character portraits and it's like super bright. Ugh, <laughs> I don't like that. Must be near the music room. It's coming from downstairs. Let's try and find it. It's like the menus are too bright. Oh. Oh, I see. I see enough hentai to know where that goes. There are tentacles completely wrapped around the door. It doesn't seem possible to get in right now. Well, that's because you just didn't treat them nicely yet. That's all I'm saying. You know, Haruki, you better get to work. <laughs> I really think we should go to the music room first. Oh, I thought this led to the music room. All right, first of all, I gotta try something. Will this hurt me? I really think we should go... Oh, okay, so I guess that doesn't hurt at all. Huh. Okay, go to the music room. So is that, like, upstairs? Whoever's playing that piano is doing it very nicely. Because the music is great. Hmm. There's a big-ass fucking staircase. It's like I'm playing Pokemon or some shit. Name tag. Emmy. Internal organs ruptured by repeated hammer strikes to... Oh. No, that's bad. Oh, there's a downstairs, too. Yikes. Alright. Let's try going upstairs first. I'm already tired. Fucking hell, I hate when it does that. The fly noises, it like puts it right next to my ear. Oof. Ah, what a horrible smell. It's the smell of death. No, wait. Okay, hold up. C calm down, Hot Topic. <laughs> it's the smell of death. No, wait. It's even more pungent than that. Something's rotting. Stay behind me. I appreciate it. Die for me. What's wrong? This is a human body, that's for sure. How ghastly. The amount of decomposition here is... Whew. Looks ritualistic. This corpse is part of some kind of spell, maybe. Let's go. I'm about to throw up. Yeah. Was that supposed to scare me? 
Can I not grab the hammer? For defense? He's definitely gonna, like, get off the fucking... He's gonna get off and, like, pick up the hammer. <laughs> He's gonna be like, wait, stop. The hammer time. Can I fall through here? Oh, I wouldn't put it past this game. I'm keeping an eye on you, corpse. You better stay there. Out here looking like fucking... Looking like, uh, Jeepers Creepers. The moment you get out of my sight, you're gonna pick up that hammer, aren't you, you son of a bitch? Whoa. My ears! My eyes! My eyes! What is that sound? It's echoing from all around us. I can't take it. Even plugging my ears with my fingers isn't doing a thing. My eardrums feel like they're about to burst. I'm about to bust. Uh, how long are you guys gonna do that? Are you okay? I can't hear you very well. I really thought I was gonna die. I'm not good with loud sounds. I wish this place would just give us a break already. Guess that explains why you get so jittery during thunderstorms. Do you have to bring that up? You're scared of thunder? <laughs> Is that a thing people are still scared of? Oh, well, this... Huh. This gate is locked up. Alright, he's still down there. <laughs> I had to look. I'm like, did you pick up that fucking hammer? I'm gonna be careful running past you. Be very careful. At any moment, he can get up. I mean, we can just take the hammer, right? We can just... See, if we were smart, you would take the hammer. Alright. I want to save my energy just in case he started chasing me. I just wanted to test something, see, like, how much... Okay, so... Definitely have to rest longer than eight seconds to run afterwards. <laughs> Just wanted to test it. See how many seconds I had to wait to like fully get my stamina back. I wish they gave me like a meter or something, right? That would help out. But you just gotta kinda get a feel for it. Let's see. There's tremendous spiritual presence at the bottom of the staircase. Countless lost souls are silently screaming in agony and despair. It would be best not to go this way right now. It's like, oh no, basement seems pretty scary. <laughs> I'm not going there. So where the fuck is the music room? It's definitely not that way. And this is where we came from. Oh. Is it in the room with the angry spirits? All right, listen up, motherfucker. You cut that shit out right now. I don't like how the I don't like how they're pointing at the wall. Something's going to jump out at me. Sayaka, you in here? It's me. Inamaru. That's so weird. I wonder who is playing. Is someone there? Sayaka? Hmm. Who the fuck is laughing at me? You motherfucking ghosts think this is funny. Hey, Haruyuki. Look. At Beethoven. Hmm? <laughs> His eyes are glowing. He's like, 
The musicians' eyes are glowing. They're like, that fucking riffraff you listen to nowadays. What is it called? A hippity hoppity? What kind of bullshit is that? Well, it's creepy. Well, now we're playing as dude, bro. This is a fresh body. Use skill and exorcism to fight spirits in an effort to stop friends darkening, but fell in battle. Well, at least he tried. Hmm? Haruki, look out! Huh? What the f- <laughs> There's often tentacles hidden under fleshy mounds like this. If you can't buy them, well then you better pucker up, baby. Should they latch on you repeatedly press the confirm button? Eh, go with me. That was a close one. Guess we gotta be mindful of living thing uh, living floors from now on too. It's probably best to stay away from from uh, stretches of floor. <laughs> Look at their fucking eyes! <laughs> it's so creepy, dude. <laughs> what, you didn't like I like the music. Think I didn't like it? I'm gonna kill you right this minute, if I can just kill you. You hear that too, right? Huh? Oh no, I'm getting Mario 64 f 60 floor? <laughs> I'm getting Mario 64 flashbacks. Oh, shit! That was close. Thanks, Niwa. Niwa, behind you. Huh? <laughs> He's like, turn off the light! <laughs> I'm trying to stream in here! What the hell is up with this room? Oh no, man. It's almost like you're in a haunted building. No way. Not just this room, but this entire building. This entire space. It's full of pure malice. Sayaka doesn't appear to be in here. We should go. Why the fuck you say that with a smile? You're like, you bitch ain't in here. We should go. She's dead as fuck. <laughs> huh? Sayaka, you, you okay? Thank God. Thank God. What are you saying, Haruki? That's not Sayaka, it's just another corpse. Thank God. Thank oh God, he's gone. We lost him. Whoa, Haruki. I'm not sensing any outside presence, which means... This ain't good. His mental state is collapsing. If this continues, he's gonna succumb to the darkening. Huh? That's spirit of the man who died here. What the fuck are you doing? Are you doing this shit? Well, I gotta, I gotta walk over your dead body. Hold up, give me a second. I'll be there soon. At this rate, his mind will cloud. His body will turn black and cold. If he, and he will die. So you know about the darkening. My friend died from it. Examine my body. If he prayers to the sta if he prayers to that statue, he'll be spared of his fate. Okay. It was too late for my friend, but it's not too late here. Thanks. Thanks, spirit man. Good spirit. Statue, huh? This might be it. Quick, say like five Hail Marys and you'll be fine. Huh? Niwa? Thank goodness, you're back to normal. Thanks, dude. In this space, even seemingly ordinary objects can be suffering with malice. Take heed. Suffering, my bad, suffused. <laughs> That's good advice. If we keep examining corpses and interacting with spirits here, it's gonna have a serious effect on our mental states. Okay, so the darkening is still a... It's still a thing in the game. Alright, cool. I thought they just relegated it to a story, and they were just like, Ah, oh, here's your HP. 
From this point on, I think it'll be best to avoid interacting with any with anything multiple times unless we have very good reason to do so. I'm not sure I entirely follow, but okay. That means don't look at shit. You go crazy. That means that means we can't be looking at corpses no more. Which sucks. It sucks, but at the same time. Eh. It sucks, but at the same time, I'd rather not die from it, you know? What killed you, collectibles? <laughs> Alright. So we're heading this way. Save point. Rotate those saves, baby. Just that tentacles over there. Ah, what the fuck? Uh-uh, hold up. No, no fucking way. Bullshit. Give me a moment. I have to. Just out of curiosity. I have to. I keep wanting to press E on the fucking menus. I have to. Just to see what the fuck happened. <gasps> there was a tripwire there. Oh my god, they're so hard to see. What if I have my flashlight out? They're still kind of hard to see. <laughs> oh god. I really gotta, like, look intensely. Oh, no. <laughs> I hate that. But it's cool, though. What's wrong, Niwa? Spirits are calling me, ma'am. I thought I heard someone call my name. Might have just been my imagination, though. Chasing after profit in a place like this? You really are a lost cause, Ico. What the fuck? You talking shit, ghost? Oh, don't make me come in there and Danny Phantom your ass. I'll do it. Ah, fuck! Motherfucker! You goddamn tripwires! Naho, you in here? Aiko, give me your intel. My intel? But I only use AMD! <laughs> you should know this already! Niwa, what's wrong? Can you hear that? Hear what? Damn, I must be going crazy. Aiko. I go, I go, I go. I think I'm gonna need this. There's a wooden doll here. Cure darkening, leave it be. Mm. Leave it be for now. Is there a way? First of all, inventory. Bandage. Make me feel wonderful. Feel that loving, baby. So, I guess there's no, like, nothing on the bottom of my status that's the bottom of my status. Nothing on the menu that goes like, yo, you're darkening right now. I guess you're just gonna have to take context clues. I'm so gonna get gripped up by that. Oh, and this leads uh, back down the hall, so guess we gotta. Guess we have to go through here. I'm so about to get gripped up by a tentacle. Get ready to mash, baby. Oh no, we're good. Not a soul to be found. The room was empty, despite the voice I heard. A voice I knew exceptionally well. It was lunchtime at Polonia Academy. Polonia? Haven't heard that in a while. Fucking having Persona 3 flashbacks. Living bread in hand, I sought out Naho, who'd either already finished her lunch or simply wasn't planning to eat. Instead, using her time to catch up on some reading. 
Oh, she was one of those kids in high school that's like, leave me alone, I gotta, can't you see, I gotta fucking read, uh, Game of Thrones, so I get ahead of the curb, only to find out that that show sucks. <laughs> that's right, I was cool. I didn't like Game of Thrones before, it was cool. Hey now, ho. How'd, how'd the info I sold you at Heavenly Host turn out? Now, ho put down her book and looked up at me. She was smiling from ear to ear. Couldn't have gone better. I tracked down Yoshi sta Yoshi's estate, and sure enough, a phantom house appeared on the property. The whole investigation was a smashing success. I'm smashing. I even got my hands on means of visiting the Ever After. It's astonishing. Mr. Kibiki was very pleased. Well then, that's wonderful to hear. Thank you, Aiko. The future's looking really bright now. Kinda like my screen. <laughs> this is quite the rarity. You thanking me? Spirits prey on human emotions, particularly in places where weakest. It's trying to make me remember things I don't want to. Sorry, but I'm not about to play- uh, But wow, I just like stuttered super hard. Sorry, but I'm not about to play along with the parlor tricks of low-grade entities like yourself. Humans are made of much sterner stuff than that. You ought to be ashamed. Yeah, you ought to be ashamed of yourself, you fucking ghost. You got a little pee-pee. <laughs> I put on a good show, but couldn't change the expression on my face into anything from a frown. Anyone looking closely would have been able to see through it with almost no effort. It's a camcorder. I'm gonna take it. Get ready to mash. Alright, we're good. Oh, wait. Okay, so the energy's been drained. Cool. Just wanna make sure. Now, just gonna stare at the floor the whole entire time. Huh. It's on that side. How the fuck do I get over there? Was there, like, a walkway over here that I just didn't see? Oh, yeah. Hold up. No. Hmm. Alright, well, guess I gotta find another way through. Is it possible? Is it possible for my characters to, like, crawl under here? Oh, it is! What's this? A porno. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Let me see. Mr. Taguchi, the cameraman from Naho's place? This is his. We should watch it. He might have caught something important. The only one file there's only one file saved. Check that bitch out. Huh. <sighs> Ryuki started playback on the footage from the camera. It began immediately with the door cracking, uh, cracking, door creaking open, leading into a small room with a distinctively Japanese flair to its decor. And this, the janitor's room? Huh? The goods jumped back and fell with a painful sounding thump. What the hell was that? The camera was now slowly and cautiously being moved closer and closer to the sliding door in the back hall of the room. Did it come from in here? Is someone there? The camera caught a little bit of Taguchi's bracing himself as he hesitantly slid the door open. He then stuck the camera inside as him, as he himself began to survey the contents of the closet, of this closet, quickly discovering, is this Naho? Naho, Professor. Two bodies stacked on top of one another. One was Professor Kibiki, and the other was Naho. They were full-on skeletons at that point, identifiably only identifiable only by their clothes. Oh, so that's definitely the janitor's room that was in the first game. I thought he was gonna like open it and Naho would come out like attacking him. And that's where the footage stopped. Perhaps the camera had run out of batteries, though it worked just fine for us now. So 
So Sayaka's dead. <laughs> that was horrible. I could feel the chill of Sanoki's soul. Cold as ice. She really is gone. How can this be, though? How could something like that happen? Doesn't it seem like that long ago when we were all together, smiling, laughing, like nobody's business. Get a hold of yourself, bitch. Haruki, what should we do now? Or what must we do now? Standing here and grieving isn't going to solve anything, is it? No. We have to believe. That's right. We have to believe in Sayaka and her will to live. Sayaka may not be dead. Because Book of Shadows only showed like multiple, like different timelines, I guess, multiple possibilities. So it wasn't the only canon thing was like maybe, maybe the beginning and well, not the beginning. The beginning was, uh, the beginning was, um, what's we we'll call it? It was Naomi and, and, uh, and Seiko. Fucking, um, her name's not even Naomi, is it? I don't even remember. Fuck. <laughs> but, uh, the only, the only one that was like really canon was like the end was the prelude to, uh, to, um, Corpse Party. Me? I just feel dizzy, and my heart is throbbing. What's happening to me? The darkening is taking over. Alright, well, let's just hustle and bustle back over. Let's get the fuck out of this room. So where do I go now? The spirit! I thought I heard moans coming from the floor. It would seem there was an entity hiding in the mass of flesh. Forget the analysis, Niwa. It's time to run. Oh! Where, where'd he go? Did I use my, uh... Damn it! So that's how the talisman works. You just kind of touch them. I thought they were like attack you and then a possibility of, uh, you know, like maybe a choice would come up and be like, do you want to use your talisman? But I guess not. Well, he's dead. Eh, I don't need to keep making that many saves. We can overwrite this. I just need somebody to love. I don't know why that song's in my head. It is, though. Huh. Can I go downstairs yet? Fuck. Big ass room. I'm too tired. Okay, I guess not. Uh, maybe. Maybe the upstairs opened up. Maybe. I also need to be careful where I run, because now spears can just pop up whenever the fuck they please. Let's head over here. no mounds of flesh anywhere, so I should be fine for a bit. Let's see if this opened up. Nope. What if I flash my light on it? My flashlight that I barely use. This was just the bathroom, right? There's nothing in here like a, uh... Like a piece of wood or anything. Huh.
I gotta start taking mental notes of like of like what gets affected and shit. God damn it. <laughs> So where do I go? We've got the camcorder, which, you know, story reasons. I really gotta pay attention to that. <laughs> I really gotta start paying attention to that. Um, shit. Careful over here. Guess we can just walk back over here and just see... See what's hip hop and happening. Maybe head upstairs, maybe maybe the gate lifted itself up. I highly doubt it, but you know. One can never tell. This is where we came from, right? Steps we go near Mr. Hammer Time. Is that something on his person? Okay, that's just its tethered clothing. I, I thought that was like a key or something on his jacket. Nope, the gate's still there. Shit. It's gotta be like a key or something that I'm missing, right? Or maybe like one of the doors just magically work now. Can't go downstairs because the spirits are angry with me. Or they're in agony or whatever the fuck. How you looking? Okay, Iko's not looking too bad. I didn't get hurt that much, falling through the floor. Where do I have to go? I guess I'm just gonna start checking places out then. I mean, can't go through there. This led to the music room, right? Did I ever go this? Oh, I, I guess I just didn't go that direction. <laughs> I guess I got confused because when the fucking spirit just showed up, it just kind of turned me around. Zero four two two four 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 four. Oh man, spam. The worst thing ever. What kind of phone number is this? It's an EMF spike. Someone's trying to communicate. Hello? Number... Huh? Stay away. Stay away from Tetsuya Nomura. What's that? Kingdom Hearts 4 is gonna be just as shitty as 3? <laughs> Sayaka? Huh? It's Sayaka. Listen. Stay away. Are you sure? How are you? You're not Sayaka. Sayaka? What are you trying to say? Where are you? I'm coming to help. Hang in there. Haruki, wait. Oh, you fucking moron. Idiot, come back here. Sayaka. Sayaka, you in here? I'm on my way. You fucking idiot. Stop it. What's your problem? This is probably a trap. Yeah, that's ridiculous. You saw the other traps yourself, right? 
The school wants us dead. Now, get your dumb ass back here, and let's go. Don't you dare. Just listen, you can hear her. That's Ayaka's voice. Inamura, let me out. Huh? Sayaka. Moron, don't you do it. <laughs> don't stop him. <laughs> Just be like, you know what? Fuck it. Do it. Oh shit! <laughs> I didn't know I had to. <laughs> I didn't know it was a quick time event. Oh shit! You're so dead, you fucking moron! I decided to let him go, as though unlikely I could stop him even if I tried. His devotion to Sayaka was simply too strong for me to stand in his way. Sayaka. Whoa! Oh shit, what the fuck is that? He just came through the wall. He's like, come here, give me a kiss, big boy. Oh, I thought it was a loading screen. Jesus, fuck. <laughs> I'm sitting there looking at him like, why isn't it loading? Is he dead? What do I do? Our next victims have arrived. This should, be, this should be fun. How will they scream for us? I wonder. And what will be the best way to kill them? I can't wait to find out. Let's get them from the back. I want to go home. Ha! Let's go for the neck. Aiko. Oh, shut the fuck up. Aiko, you came. You mustn't come. Let me out. Please. Naho. Naho's not here. You must turn back. Sayaka. Why the fuck are you going? You just saw what happened, you moron! Huh? Look down at my feet. Is this how she died? I'm trying to remember how Sayaka died. Oh, no, 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 she got... She definitely hid in a locker before, I remember that, but she died because she got caught. I found blood pooling between my legs. I was bleeding from the groin. It was coming out so fast. It was like a fountain. Oh, I didn't need to know that. Mm. Mm -mm, no. Mm, no. 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 -uh. Oh, oh, no. It was getting more and more severe by the second. Soon I was practically wading in a pool of my own blood. Chunks of reddish black flesh fell out next. Landing with mightier splash. Then a red one, an orange one, a white one, a black one. Oh, those are my organs. I can feel another pool of blood welling up in the back of my throat now. My vision went in both directions, as if my head was split down the middle and opened up like a clear cabinet. The world then blurred and faded away as it collapsed into the pool. Cause I didn't stop him. <laughs> it's cause I didn't stop him. I was too busy making a fucking joke that I didn't think that it would uh <laughs> I didn't think that it was a quick time event. God damn it. Oh fucking hell. Let's do that again. I mean, to be fair, he's a fucking moron. He's a fucking moron for doing it. And she's a moron for doing it, too. Oh, what the fuck just happened? Sticky keys? What the fuck? Get the fuck out of here, sticky keys.
All right, dumbass. Sayaka's in there. I must save her. I'm on my way. What do you do? Do you stop him? Do you let him go? All right, come on, jackass. Let's go. Get your ass back here. Don't. Stop it. Let me go. Bitch! Don't ever put your fucking hands on me like that again. You understand that? Get a hold of yourself. That thing in there is a demon. Naho? Sayaka! She's already dead! Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> I know you loved her, but really? Just like that? Alright, you know what? Fuck it. I give, I give him points for that. He's like, I don't care, I loved her. Her, like, super decomposed body. Sayaka! This is awful. Alright, you gotta stop it now. The Dark King's gonna get to you. Get away! Go! I can't. I wasn't prepared to face a friend's death. Is it really happening? Haruyuki, I'm sorry about Sayaka, but our priority right now is just to get the hell out of here alive. We have to find Ayumi Shinozaki. Poor Sayaka. We should take something of hers back with us to preserve her memory. Your fault. What? You! Isn't this all your fault? You're sorry? You want to preserve her memory? You're fucking kidding me! Don't you even care? Do you have any conscience at all? Heavenly Host Elementary? The Nirvana? All of it! You're the one who gave Sunoki this bullshit intel! And you knew what that meant to Sayaka. They were all about to be a psychic detective duo together. You knew your actions would have a profound influence on her too. Why couldn't you see that? I'm an intelligence agent. I take pride in what I do. I do the best job I can, no matter what. I'm not responsible what, for what people do with the intel I give them. And you know that. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, you son of a bitch! It's over! Oh no! It's all your fault. What you did is unforgivable. The targeting? What is he? A hellhound? Is this what the darkening does to a person with high spiritual ability? Her spirit is going berserk. You son of a bitch! Huh. <laughs> the cursed flyer I'd taken from the wall was actually laughing at me? You piece of shit! What am I doing? No. 
I just wanted... I just wanted to talk to you one last time. I don't need the money. I don't even care about the book. Ah, shit. Please, God, save me. And with that, my consciousness faded. Yikes. EVP entries for Naho Tsunaki have been unlocked. Encyclopedia Obscura. Would you like to save? Fuck yeah. New chapter, baby! I gotta check what time it is. Just make sure I'm done. I'm not over stream time. Oh, we got a lot of time. <laughs> we got a lot of time. Blood Drive, chapter three. Pain. Aside from Satoshi and my other friends who shared the experience with me, there wasn't a soul in the world who believed that Seiko, Suzumoto, Morishigi, and Miss Yui have existed. And this fact was really taking its toll on me, particularly in regards to Seiko. Are you alright, Naomi? Yeah, I'm fine. I can't keep worrying my mom forever. I flashed the brightest smile I could muster. Though, I'm still not sure he entirely bought it. I'm glad to hear it. Keep that chin up. We'll get through this. <laughs> thanks. There's no need to be worried about me anymore, okay? I'm still thinking about the moment from, like, Book of Shadows, where, where it's like, so what led up to, uh, to her death? And it's like, Seiko's like, yeah, I'm a super lesbian, and I totally like you. <laughs> it's like, whoa! That night, all I could manage to do was stand perfectly still and stare at my desk. I was mumbling something, but I don't even know what. My eyes had glazed over. It was like I was in a trance, or maybe I just wanted to be. I'm not the one who's wrong. I'm not wrong. She's real. It's everyone else. Damn. Naomi, you're just... Oof. It's everyone else who's crazy. I'm not wrong. You're wrong. Those who refuse to believe other persons, no matter what, can go burn fires of hell. If they could look into my heart, they see that it's the truth. My friends exist. My friend's name's Seiko. 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 I didn't even realize I actually started writing. I was at my desk now, writing words into a notebook. Seiko? I kept softly repeating her name to myself, over and over again. The words started to sound foreign in my head, but I couldn't stop saying it, almost like I forgot. Almost like I forget her if I did. You know, sometimes I have those moments where you're just like sitting there, thinking to yourself, and you're like, you're like, who came up with the word fork? What is a fork? And then you're just sitting there, you're like, a fork? How the fuck? <laughs> and then you say it so many times, you're like, ugh. This doesn't even mean anything anymore. <laughs> there was no no other sound in the room, just the scratching of a pencil on paper, and the hushed sounds of my voice, just the word Seiko in all of its forms. Seiko? Seiko! My voice was getting firmer each time I said it, more demanding, and my writing was growing more feverishly. Feverish? Feverishly? Feverish. More intense. Seiko? Finally, the pencil broke in half under the strain. I gripped it so hard that it stabbed into my palm. Blood began to drip onto the paper. My head was hanging limply, but the rest of my body had stiffened. If anyone had seen me, I bet it would have been quite a sight. <laughs> and then I tucked my blood and I started writing Seiko over and over and over. I could feel blood rushing to my head. My whole body quivered. Seiko. I raised my head from the vigil and realized tears were streaming down my face. What did she look like? My voice was strained, choking back a sentence I hoped I'd never say. There was countless pictures of Seiko drawn in my notebook, but in every one of them, her face was blank. No! I hurled the notebook from my desk. Don't go. Don't leave me. Stay inside me. Whoa, whoa, hey, okay. <laughs> I don't want you to fade away. I don't want you to fade away. 
I slammed my hands on the desk with all my might and screamed as loud as my present con constitution would allow. I opened up the photo album on my phone. There was this nagging sensation in the back of my head that I overlooked something. I was absolutely bawling at this point. My face was a mess. But I had indeed overlooked something. On the bottom right of the screen, there was an icon for image modification. After a few menu selections, I found myself adjusting the picture's brightness. I kept hitting the button to turn up higher and higher. And slowly, in the very center of the black void that had replaced Seiko's face, I could see something begin to form. I felt like I was on the verge of an incredible discovery, filled with a new hope. I didn't felt... I, I hadn't felt just... Oh god, I can't read. <laughs> I felt I was on the verge of an incredible discovery, filled with new hope I hadn't felt since just before the incident at the Shinozaki estate. There was still room... Is that a fucking mosquito in my room? Son of a bitch! <laughs> there was still room in the... Get the fuck away from my TV! <laughs> oh, damn it! Where's something I can throw at it? I got this, like, piece of cloth. I'm gonna fucking, like, towel whip it. Motherfucker, you came in the wrong neighborhood today. Oh, shit! God damn it. I'll get you. I got away. There was still room to increase the brightness. There were still countless increments to go for go before I had reached the phone's upper limit. I just kept pressing the button over and over. Until finally, in the very center of the would-be face, I can make out extremely faint patterns that look like freehand lettering spelling the name Sachi in Hiragana. As in like Sachi go? Was that right? Was I certain that was what it said? Instinctively, I placed the phone screen closer to my mother fucking son of a bitch. Huh. Oh yeah, I got that song. Definitely slammed into my TV doing it, but <laughs> I got it. I got you. I think I got you at least. I put a put a good number of force on that. Uh, where was I? <laughs> where was I in the middle of murdering? Was that right? A certain thing said instinctively. I placed my phone screen closer to my eyes. The limited resolution made this pointless, but I didn't care. It was so close, I was beginning to lose focus, but it still wasn't close enough. I had to make sure that that's what it said. I touched it, what? I touched it to my forehead as near my eye as I could get. Oh, what the fuck? Ah, oh, what was that? Flash in my eye, son of a bitch! Oh, it happened again! <laughs> At which point the letters lashed onto my cornea, literally attacked, attached themselves in my eye. Huh? They were there. No matter where I looked, I saw them. My vision had gone ha half white, obscured by the phantom letters. It took only a moment before the pain set in, and it was nothing, an insignificant amount. I collapsed to the ground, hand in hand in fish oh god, and effectively covering my eyes. It was absolutely excruciating. Fuck. That that around my uh that's around when my mom burst through the door. She looked like she was at the end of her rope, like she didn't believe anything was wrong, and I was probably just faking it. She was definitely more annoyed than concerned. With nothing more than a grunt, she grabbed me from behind. Pin in my arms so I could so I couldn't hurt myself. I fell backwards onto my rear, unable to resist her restraint. It hurts, Mom, my eye! It really fucking hurts. Medicine. I keep telling you to take your medicine. How many times do I have to say it before it sinks in? Mom, no, this is different. It hurts. My eye's on fire. Honestly, why can't you just behave yourself every day the same thing? No, that's not it. My eye. Fuck! Huh? What about your eye? Let me see. My left eye was glazed over with tears and had gone as bloodshot as I can get. Oh god. The name is like burned into her eye. Shit. And right on the corner, white blistering like, uh, white blister like, bull, uh, bull, ah, god damn it. Bludges. 
were beginning to form, spelling out Sachi. There was no way my mom could ignore or dismiss that. She quickly stepped back in shock, finally acknowledgement. Her breathing had quickened, but she didn't say a thing. She just left the room. Mom, what the fuck? It was too late. She was gone, halfway across the house by the time I called out. Mom! I was sprawled out in the corner of my room like a giant stuffed bear. At some point, I think I lost consciousness, but I'm still not really sure. How long have I been sitting here? I was starting to feel a, a, less, a little less tense, a little more relaxed. I looked up. Fuck! At the prospect of actually discerning details in my room, my left eye reacted with a sharp, intense shot of pain. My vision was still half white. My eye. God, it wasn't a dream, was it? It was real. I could feel the pain with every pulse and every part of my body. It was almost unbearable. And yet... Mom. What happened to Mom? She ran out of the room in shock and obviously had been gone for quite some time. As sick as she was of me, I couldn't imagine she'd leave me to suffer without doing anything. I opened my bedroom door and slowly crept downstairs. I could hear a sound coming from the kitchen. A very specific, very peculiar sound repeating in regular intervals. Mom didn't kill herself, did she? Did my best to sneak over to the doorway and peek. Mom's not gonna try and kill me, is she? She's not sharpening a knife. You bitch! <laughs> and what I saw is my mom sharpening a kitchen knife with intense focus. I had no idea what she planned to do with it, but an irrational fear washed over me. I slowly and silently snuck my way over to the front entrance, and I made sure not to peep, not a peep could be heard from me until I was outside and away from the house. Kishinuma. It was a new morning, bright and early. Satoshi called out to me, and I was, uh, like I was 12 or something. I've been in this old, cheap, run-down, two-story apartment building for a long time now. It may not have been much to look at, but I felt like it had a certain charm. Satoshi was cradling his high, his high school bag, his school bag in his arms, as he waited for me in front of the room on the ground floor. On mornings when he wasn't waylaid by Yuka, waylaid? That's a word. Hmm. Waylaid. Ha. Huh. Okay. He would always drop by and invite me to walk to school with him. Originally, he was doing it for my own good, as I'd been known to ditch school a lot and figured a friendly offer like his might get my attendance up a little. Immediately, it worked. Yo. God, the screen is so fucking bright. <laughs> I finally made my entrance, or my exit, I suppose. And I'm pretty sure Satoshi must have been really confused, as if I had my shoulders on hell of a wait what? As I had as I had on my shoulders one hell of a backpack, boasting a full-on survival kit, provisions, the works. Yep, Satoshi was confused, all right. What's all that? Look like you're ready to go hiking up a mountain or something. Uh, I slowly, carefully lowered the giant backpack to the ground. No, it's more like, actually, before that, will you stop calling me out like you're my mom or something? I'm not in grade school anymore. Huh? Forget it. I actually have things to do, so I won't be going to school today. I'm, yeah, I'm going for a mountain hike, like you said. Sorry to waste your time. Damn it! I didn't think I'd go down so easily last night. I remember taking a hit to the back of the head bad enough that I woke up in a hospital or something. God, what the hell am I doing? Wait for me, Shinazaki. I'm coming. You're hiding something from me again. <laughs> I guess I wasn't all that convincing, but even still, I didn't expect Satoshi to see through me so quickly and easily. I mean, when you come out with a backpack and a guy goes, You going hiking? And you go, Yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going hiking. Suspicious as fuck. <laughs> I stumble under his glare. It was almost like I'd just been called out by a newborn by a newborn baby or like a fawn. Dude was way too innocent for his own good. Can't fault him on his instincts. 
One of his big selling points, I guess. He's really good at empathizing with others and helping them get over their problems. That's why he's the main character that barely shows up. Come on, out with it. You can't hide anything from me. Uh, I guess not. Ayumi's face appeared in the back of my mind. Shinozaki said she didn't want Satoshi and the others to get involved any more than what they already were, so I can't very well tell him I'm trying to find Aiko, so I can go back there. This has something to do with Heavenly Host, doesn't it? Huh? Damn, he was on today. That sure seemed like a yes reaction to me. How the hell did you know? God damn it! I'm terrible at this. Cover my mouth, but it was too late. I already confirmed it. Well, what? It, you've got a bunch of talismans in your bag for one thing. Ah, shit. I did have a lot of talismans with me. Hey, at least you know what? At least this motherfucker's smart. He said, "I'm gonna hoard that shit like his Pokemon cards." <laughs> I did have a lot of talismans with me. I bought them at the convenience store and didn't actually pack smartly enough to hide them. Certainly wasn't going to win any awards for stealth. Didn't that place fall apart, though? Please don't tell me it's still standing. Uh, about that. No, we saw it collapse around us when we escaped. We saw it, too. It's rubble. Satoshi started to stare deeply into my eyes, as if he... Ev as if evaluating my answer for any possible deception. This time, it seemed like I succeeded in fooling him. Haha, <laughs> you son of a bitch. Hmm, yeah, you're right. Besides, Sachiko doesn't exist there anymore, so I can't imagine talismans would have any effect. And there's no way to get back there anyways. Exactly. I was just gonna do... I was just gonna... Ah, fuck. I was just gonna go research it a little. I wasn't going to do anything dangerous. Okay, that's fine. But if that changes, make sure you don't do it on your own. I've been telling Naomi the same thing. The worst thing in the world is not knowing what happened to someone. I thought I was in the clear, but Satoshi suddenly got a puzzled look on his face. He reached over my backpack and pulled out one of the talismans I lazily stuck in front of my pouch. Do these things really work? He was looking it over like an appraiser or something. Why wouldn't he just leave me alone? How should I know? People use the sardine heads to warn off evil. This is probably just as effective. I yanked the talisman back out of Satoshi's hands and crammed it into the front pockets of my shul shoulder of my school blazer. Man, I haven't heard somebody talk about that in forever. You're like an old man sometimes, Yoshiki. Shut up! Either way, first things first, you're going to school today. With this, Satoshi grabbed my sleeve. <laughs> Why? Because your attendance is low enough already, and Miss Kulon said that she helped you make up for it before class today. Probably with a quiz or something. I don't give a crap about that. They can hold me back a year if they have to. It's not time for school. I take it it has something to do with Shinozaki, then. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Was this guy psychic? He had, been, <laughs> he had been wrong all morning. Whatever happened, he'll wait. You can tell me all about it at school. Come on, let's go. You can leave the backpack here. Seemed Satoshi wasn't going to take no for an answer. Yo, seriously, Satoshi, stop. I get it, okay? Just come on. Get your hands off me. You want me to be honest with you? I'll be honest with you. Sure you will. Come on! Satoshi, Kishinuma, good morning. Good morning. Hey, what's up? You're a lucky one, Kishinuma. Getting off with just a 15 minute quiz. I hope you're ready for it. <laughs> Baby, that's not the only thing I need to get off, if you know what I mean. Haha. <laughs> Alright, uh. It really sucks that I can't pull the fucking menu up during this because. I actually do want to lower the brightness for this, at least, because it seems like we're going to be here for a while, but damn it. Whatever. Mishiki have been made aware of the seriousness of his situation. I seriously don't have time for this, you know. But here I am. Let's just get it over with so I can get the hell out of here. 
It was great of you to come. Now, let's be off to the classroom, shall we? I'm fine right here. Just bring me the quiz. Don't be stupid, Yoshiki. Ugh, looking. Look, there's no time to argue. There's some place I absolutely have to be. Stuck my hand into my pocket and took out a mechanical pencil. If they were going to force me to do this, I need to shave off every second I could. As I removed the pencil, the talisman I shoved in there er earlier fell to the ground. Hmm? I need to hurry and find the spirit item fanatic, or else Shinazaki could be... Spirit item fanatic? Are you talking about Aiko? Yeah, that's her. Did something happen to Shinozaki? Wait, why are you trying to tell me she's... Are you trying to tell me she somehow went back to Heavenly Host? Yes, you fucking moron! Why didn't you say so sooner? Because you weren't listening to me. All you did was yank and yank and yank on my damn shirt. What's this about, I? And Heavenly Host? Oh, it's nothing. Wait. I? Come to think of it, your last name is Niwa. That's right. The person you just mentioned, I Aiko Niwa, is my sister. I call her I. Miss Kuan, I like to meet with Aiko. Do you know where I can find her? Hmm? At this hour? I imagine she's in school, though she was acting rather strange last night. Hmm. Do you live with her, Miss Kwan? I do. So this would have been after So this would have been after Shinazaki and I met with her. How was she acting exactly? Like what was strange about it? Well, I I may have said something about you. Huh? It's rather awkward. Okay, and then what? Well, let's see. She was holding two small blue stones in her right hand. Almost cradling them, in fact. Bingo! That's it. She had another pair. God damn it! <laughs> but this is our chance, Miss Guan. Do you know for sure that Aiko went to school today? She looked rather perturbed as she left the house last night, and she wasn't home when I got back this morning. I made some breakfast and waited for her, but I wound up eating it all. Damn, girl, you got an appetite. I love you. Yoshiki! If she used those stones on her own, that's the end of it. There's no other way to go after Shinozaki. Yoshiki, wait! Thank you, Miss Kwan. I'll be sure to bring him back. All right. Huh? Uh, as Satoshi turned to leave, he caught a glimpse of Ni Nakashima standing on the school roof. Oh, no! Get down from there! On the wrong side of the guardrail, looking tired and worn. There was no spark in her eyes, no awareness. It looked almost as if she was sleepwalking. Naomi? This is bad. And the music is just all happy and shit. Uh, I tried to pick myself up and look around. But I could only move my neck. Everything was dark. And the only sign of my surrounding was an unpleasant, vaguely organic noise filling my ears. I felt in some way restrained. What's going on? As my eyes adjusted in the dim light of the room, I could see that I was blanketed in red flesh. It was as if Floor had come to life. It was absorbing me into its collective. This is disgusting! God! How did I get in this situation again? <laughs> what happened to her again? I'm trying to remember. We got chased by Mayu's ghost. And then, uh... God, I just don't remember. Focus... I focused... Ah, uh, fuck. I focused my strength and was finally able to break free from my bindings. 
bits of red matter flying away from my body as I tore through it to freedom. I was absolutely soaked, however, with a strange viscid fluid, and chunks of meat were clinging fast to my skin and clothes. The blanket of flesh, flat fesh. What the hell? The blanket of flesh on the ground was now bubbling out a murky red liquid from all sorts, all sorts, all spots. I tore, I tore in my escape, as violently as if, as if a faucet had been turned to full. What the hell was that? Ugh. I was in tears, trying as hard as I could to wipe the viscera from my body. As I watched, however, a chunk. I had been trying to shake free from the back of my hand just dissolved the way. Oh no! Oh, it didn't go into my body, did it? Uh, that's not good. Aside from the murmurs of the flesh blanket, the room was deadly silent and lit only by a faint blue glow streaming in from a nearby window. This is still Heavenly Host for sure. Fucking Mayu's still alive. God damn. Well, alive. Of course she's not alive. She's dead. She's still here. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> the ghost is still alive. An entity resembling Mayu was chasing... Not chasing. Charges at me from the depths of the darkness. Fuck! It was all in my head. A flashback. She wasn't after me now, but she definitely had been. That was really Suzumoto, wasn't it? Tears were pouring out of my eyes by this point. I could do nothing to hold them back. Can I really do it? Can I bring them back? Can I even really find the Book of Shadows in this endless darkness? Maybe I shouldn't have come. Oh, you fucking think? I crashed on the floor to gather my thoughts and noticed that my cell phone was lying on the ground beside me. That wasn't all. A circular design was carved into the floor, perfectly round as if traced by a compass. As traced by a compass, with the fleshy goo I had been trapped in more or less centered inside. What the? Actually, come to think of it, wasn't it about wasn't I about to get attacked by some kind of monster with an axe? Was I? Oh yeah, I remember now. Fuck! <laughs> I remember now, Jesus. Yeah, I fucking tripped and fell like a fucking idiot. And then the ghost girl was in front of me. She fucking went tee hee, and then some axe dude showed up. Checked myself over for injuries. There was none, or at least none caused by an axe. How am I still alive? Guess I must. Guess I must have skinned my knee when I tripped. If memory serves, and if the floor if the floor plan hasn't changed too much, the infirmary should be right here. Maybe I can catch a breath in there for a minute. Dude. Uh uh, I'm still having flashbacks from the first game with the infirmary. Ugh. The hard wooden clops of my footsteps gave way to softer, squishier series of plops. Taken aback by the sudden change, I looked down, terrified at what I might be walking in. As I feared, whatever it looks like, awfully biological. Huge swaths on the floor were coated in what looked look like internal organs moving and swaying and pulsating in a sick rhythm. This is really disturbing. What is this? Raised my foot and I found a seaweed-like substance that closely resembled the network of blood vessels stuck to the bottom of my shoe. There wasn't anything like this in Heavenly Host before. It's like the whole school is being swallowed by something. Uh, gross. Me no likey. Alright. Uh, what did I want to do? Oh yeah, I want to check something real quick, actually. Just check something on my computer. Make sure things aren't going up. Uh, okay. I got like a random notification. All right, everything's good. <laughs> everything's good. Everything's fine. Back to the game. All right. 
What the fuck is that? I wonder what those are. They look a lot like occult symbols we found in the basement of Shinozaki Estate. Only different. A little more demonic, I guess. Whatever they are, I'm getting the shivers just looking at them. Calm down, Ayumi. Just focus on what you have to do. And get the fuck out of here. There's a good chance that this girl has the Book of Shadows. And she looks a lot like Yuki. If I talk to her and tell her what's happening, I'm sure she'll give me the book. Just before I pass out, I thought I saw her, but she had a very different aura than before. Uh-oh, there's another mirror. I don't like that. I should leave a candle here. Maybe Misato will see it. Hopefully Misato will see it. I'm going out of, I'm out of matches when there's any nearby. I'm not trying to look at that. I'm trying to fucking save my game, damn it. Alright. Let's see. Trace of vomit and blood and sink is mirror. Oh, God. Looks like there's a manner of medicine inside the cabinet, but the door is sealed shut as if it were never meant to be opened in the first place. Many have clearly tried, however, as the glass is covered in handprints. Many have tried. All have failed. There's one doll here. It seems to be comforting. It's a few holy power. Cure the darkening. Uh, I think I'm good. If I need to come back, I'll come back. Come, come on. Give me the item. Something on the floor. A band-aid. You're damn right. It's a band-aid, baby. I'm already at full health, so I don't need to worry about that. Okay. There's something laying on the ground next to the heater. I got some matches, baby! Alright, well, I guess that's it for this room, right? Hmm? This is blood, and it's fresh. Should be stairs leading to the third floor over there anyways. So, wait, am I going that way? Fresh blood. Oh, okay, the blood is leading up to the stairs. Alright, cool. So who got fucked up? I'm trying to... Trying to make sure to look out for any trip wires. The desk has been moved. The trail continues here. So the monster must have gone upstairs. The monster must have gone upstairs. I shall go too. Hello? Is anyone up here? Oh, motherfucker. You gotta be kidding me. It's fucking. This is why I didn't want to go to the goddamn infirmary. Fucking hair monster. Is that. What is that? A maggot? A worm? Doors laced with human hair holding it in place. Bloodstains lay here, which means Yuki is most likely inside. Along with the axe wielding giant. Huh? I don't know this number. Hello? Hello? Um, hell. Huh? Still alive, huh? Oh, you. Where are you? Why are you so... Why are you such a fucking wuss? What? All you ever do is think about how much you regret everything. If there was a voltage meter attached to me, it would have spiked the moment. Never before I had... Wait, what? Never before I had a... God damn it. Never before... Had one person been able to anger me so quickly and so effortlessly? What the hell's your problem? Why can't you just leave me by myself like this? Tell me where you are right now. No need to get so pissy. I'm looking for you too. We'll run into each other in here at some point. Uh, that's the best answer you can give? This is Heavenly Host Elementary. It's a jumbled mess of dimensions. We may never even reach each other. Oh yeah, that's true. I'm the one with the stone, so... If push comes to shove, I guess you'll wind up getting left behind. 
Forget about that for a moment, though. Have you seen the demonic-looking symbols on the in the markings here? I'm pretty sure I have. Those writings amplify some kind of power throughout the entire Nirvana. Something big. Some kind of power. What do they what do they signify exactly? I'm not really sure on the details, but I can tell you they're black magic. The kind used the kind used by the Mar God damn, I don't even know how to say that word. Martubas? <laughs> Martubas? The Martubas. There's definitely something going on in this school, so be careful. What? It'll be fine though. We'll meet again somehow or another, and then you can use those stones and head back to reality. Hey. That wasn't exactly any intel spot to cough. Wait, what? Let's try that again. <laughs> that wasn't exactly an ideal spot to cut off in a conversation. And panicked and tried to call back. Be careful, he says. Be careful of what? I relayed, I relayed the number over. Relayed. I redialed the number over and over again, more times than I could count. But Misato never picked up. Gave me so little to go on. Damn it. Seiko, how are you? We used to eat lunch up here together all the time, remember? I held my hand out in front of me and looked down at my phone. All my attention was on the little glowing screen. My inbox was filled with old emails from Seiko. It's like time is frozen for me, you know? Without you by my side, I'm scared. Too scared to take even a single step. Stretch out beneath my feet, I could see the roof of the connecting corridors on the first floor. This was a five-story school building. There was no surviving a fall from this height. I want to see your face again, just one more time. I don't want to forget you. Naomi! Nakashima, don't do it! Satoshi, Miss Kuan, really scared me there for a second. We scared you? Get the fuck back over here. What are you doing? Naomi! Akashima! That was really close. Phew. What the fuck are you doing? Thought I was gonna jump? Sorry, I wasn't planning on it, honest. You certainly gave us quite a start. What were you doing out there? Seiko and I used to hop the rails here. Seeing over there, we lied on, we lied down on top of the power box together. And I just wanted to remember those days. To remember her. You got a fucking death wish or something? Okay. Thank God it was just a misunderstanding. Nakashima, is something wrong with your eye? It happened last night. May I take a look? Yeah, Miss Kwan, heal it with your fucking magic powers. My cornea was etched with the in with the indistinct indistinct Indi indistinct words, big words, indistinct white dots. To the undertrained eye, they probably look like random blistering, but on closer inspection, you can easily make out that they were actually letters. Is this from a curse, perhaps? Huh? Miss Kwan, you're familiar with this? Yes. You can say that. My company has some dealings with this sort of thing. May I ask what happened last night? I was looking at a picture on my phone, really close. And the letters got stuck to my eye. Was it a spirit photograph then? Do you still have it? I wasn't sure I was ready to show this strange woman a photo of Seiko, who was, by all rights, non-existent in the world. I considered it for a moment, but ultimately decided the risk outweighed any possible reward. I don't have it anymore. I see, that's good. Photographs depicting things which don't belong in this plane will have negative effects on the viewer when seen, so it's always best not to save them. Things that don't belong in this plane, huh? Though it's obvious Ms. Kuan didn't intend an insult, those of us who survived the Heavenly Host ordeal couldn't help but have our hearts sink at a harsh <laughs> at the hardness of the phrase, Jesus fuck. Instantly, my depression intensified. Here, I have some eye drops and an eye patch. It might be a little uncomfortable, but to keep it going, to keep it on. Wait, what? But do keep it on. It's just a regular infection. 
It should heal up in no time. Satoshi's eyes widened as Miss Kuan pulled all manners of shocking objects from her bag, searching for eye drops and eye patch she apparently just happened to have on hand. He also seemed transfixed by the company logo embezzled on the side of the bag, PL Promotions Co. Inc. Thank you, Miss Kuan. And now I look super cool! <laughs> now I'm more anime than before. You should go home for the day, Nakashima, and get some rest. If you don't, you might inadvertently take in something else. I don't want to go home! My mom tried to kill me last night! <laughs> huh? Miss Kuan clearly knew more than she was letting on. I was a little taken back by the whole encounter. The expression on her face was not that of an old playing of someone playing around, nor that of a teacher, but that's uh, uh, but that of a professional given a deathly serious prognosis. See, I know the word prognosis, but I can't say like half of the other words. What the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> it reminds me of it reminded me of the looks uh, Sunazaki would give whenever she sensed danger. Reading between the lines, it was evident that Miss Kuan, sensitive, uh, sensitive to the supernatural, was well honed. Satoshi and I were both looking at her somewhat agape, and I think we realized in that moment that this was someone we could trust. We'll walk home then. Oh, but you have class, don't you? I'll be happy to see her off safely. If that's all right with you, Nakashima. May I escort you? No? Pardon? No, I will not go home. What happened, Naomi? I won't. I just won't. Not there. Naomi? Squad eyes moved downward a bit, surveying my body. I wasn't sure what she was doing at first, but then I realized she was observing the state of my uniform. Namely, that it was a mess of wrinkles, as if I hadn't changed out of it for far longer than one would expect. Nagashima, could it be that you run away from home? Perhaps you've been on the run since last night's incident. Hmm. If I go home... If I go home, she'll give me medicine. And I'm scared. Probably sound like a little girl at the doctor's office, frightened from a needle. This may have been the first time Satoshi realized just how much Seiko lost still bothered me. I was in shock and denial. And I've been trying so hard to play it off. Naomi. Alright, I understand. You'll come to my place then. And I'll contact your parents from there. Uh, fuck, don't do that! Let's stop by the classroom and pick up your bag. Then we'll be off, okay? And Satoshi, I want you to do your best in today's classes. Uh, Naomi? I hope you feel better. Thanks. Yoshiki's sneaking around by himself, Shinozaki's in pain, and Naomi's suffering just as much. At this rate, we're all gonna lose our minds. I have to do something. What the fuck happened to Satoshi's younger sister? Like, zero- like, Zero words from her, <laughs> except for like the intro. She was there for a bit. Like, ha like she's the youngest out of the group. Also, somewhat the bravest, to be honest. <laughs> she was, she is pretty brave for how young she is. But like, is she, how's she dealing with it? I'm sorry, Miss Kwan. I gotta skip class. Hang in there, Yoshiki. This was no time for schoolwork. You must have gone to Polonia Academy High School to meet with Aiko. Come on now, Mizuki. I understand those two were your best friends, but you mustn't lose faith. Their families placed missing persons reports, so I'm absolutely certain both Sonoki and Oe. God. Sonoki and. Oe? That is how you pronounce her name, right? We'll be back before you know it. Keep that chin up. Yes. Oh, I like her outfit. <laughs> as soon as the teacher was out of sight, the girl's eyes narrowed. She started. Uh, she stared after him with a look of other contempt. This had to be Muragi Mizuki. Why are all adults such dumb shits? 
She followed the statement with a sigh and seemed to say, I'm so much better than the person. And then bingo! From her shirt, from her skirt pocket, she withdrew the ever <laughs> She withdrew the, the ever after studs. If easing people's worries is all it took to make the world spin, we never have to lift a finger, now would we? She was she was coiling coiling? Kyling? Coiling? Hmm. Playing with the stones as she said this, fitting them together in different angles in her hands. Yes, can I help you? She had to turn around. She just somehow seemed to sense my presence. I stepped out from behind the bench into her line of sight. Moragi then flashed me the icest stare I could ever see. I'm not usually intimidated by that sort of thing, but even if I had to really make a, a, con a concert effort not to look away. What is this person? Hmm. You're a uh, Moragi, aren't you? I keep calling her name. I keep calling her Maragi, but it's like Magari or something like that. <laughs> I heard from the other students that you're acquainted with Aiko, as well as pretty famous name, pretty fa eh, pretty famous girl named Naho. Hmm. Why uh, do you have those stones exactly? Shouldn't they be in Aiko's possession? I figure I might as well jump, just jump the whole hog. Though, not without bracing myself first, I knew that question could exactly lead me anywhere good. And sure enough, her response was almost immediate. I'll kill you. I'll fucking kill you. Uh, what? Pursue this line of questioning and I'll fucking kill you. I'll do it. <laughs> it's none of your business. So how about you leave now? Or should I call a teacher and report that, at, and report that there's a trespasser? She certainly wasn't messing around. Nonetheless, I come too far to back down now. Despite her threats, I knew I had to keep pushing. Are you going to Heavenly Host? To the Nirvana? And if so, could you take me with you? Huh? I have a friend who's there right now. Before I could get another word out, a giant scythe literally appeared in her hand and out of nowhere, just like that, I couldn't move a muscle. She had me completely restrained. I'm seriously gonna kill you. Forget your friend and get lost. This is your last chance. The blade glinted majestically in the light of the sun. Also, I love how the game just, all this serious shit going on and the music is just still like, ah, ta -ta, ta -ta. <laughs> But as I looked up at it, it was her other hand that really did, that really did me in. Using the heel of her palm, she flung, a back, she flung me backwards with the incredible force. There was a loud, sudden, metallic sound as my back struck the bench near me. Uh, what? Okay, her form was unbelievably precise. I don't know why I stuttered there. My momentum caused me to pivot over the back rest and flop down onto the ground below. I became actually aware of every muscle and every bone in my body as a jolt of intense pain fired through all of them. The wind wasn't just knocked out of me, it was obliterated. I gagged and choked for a while longer, but eventually regained the ability to breathe normally, and with it, my composure. I forced myself up with some effort, but Magari was nowhere to be seen. Damn it! Seriously, what is she? Her and that Misato bastard. I was in a complete daze. I always thought of myself as being able to hold my own in a fight, but this was twice now that I've been laid down with almost no effort. Why am I so weak? I have to find a way to open this door. Just burn it with your fucking matches. Burn that motherfucker. Burn that bitch to the ground! With such weak flames. Okay. I can go in that room. What? What is this? Heavenly Host is definitely different from the one I remember. Outside the window, there was some sort of bizarre statue clearly statue clearly visible in the pale blue light. Miss Yui? Suzumoto? Shinohara? Morishiki? If any of you are still here, please, lend me your strength. Everyone, raise your hands and lend me your strength. I swear I'll do anything I can to bring you all back. Ah, remember these? 
They're my sacred time candles. Sacred? Oh, sacred. <laughs> my scary time candles. <laughs> my sacred time candles. For the sacred times. My scary time candles. This is to let you know that I'm here. She has to be like the most powerful character in this game. The power to make a save point. Where the fuck? Let me just... I gotta start rotating these saves. Alright. How much time do I have left? Uh... I do have time left, but I'm a... Jesus, I'm so scared of like... Save points are like so far from each other, so I feel like if I... If I keep going, I'll be here for like another hour. <laughs> so, as of right now, I think I'm going to end it off here, right? Been streaming for about, for about three hours. About three hours. Kind of, kind of shorter than usual tonight, to be honest. But I think right now is a good stopping point. So, that's going to be it for the stream. I hope hope you guys enjoyed right uh as for the next stream it will either be i mean i changed the schedule so so now it's like either every day around the afternoon i may stream or may not so later today i might stream around like 11 or something like that i'm not sure if you're on the if you're on the east coast it'll be like 11 if you're on the west coast i'll be a uh, i don't know <laughs> Of, uh, what would it be? It would be like three hours before, so like... Like eight o'clock? Jesus, fuck. <laughs> Something like that. But, um... Yeah, that'll probably... If I do stream later on today, that'll probably be a time... It probably won't be Corpse Party, it'll probably be like something else. Maybe like... I don't know, maybe like Dying Light or some shit. Final Fantasy. Been playing a lot of Final Fantasy fourteen On my own time. Because Endwalker comes out next month, and that's gonna be awesome. But, um, yeah, that's it for tonight. You know, hope you guys enjoyed. If, uh, uh, for those watching this live, thank you very much. It helps out a lot. For those that are watching the VODs, hope you enjoyed it. And for those who see this on YouTube, try and come catch it live. Also, please leave a like in the video and then leave a comment. Say something scary. Give me nightmares. <laughs> that helps out with the notoriety on the channel and stuff like that. Currently, on the channel, right now, uh, the Danganronpa V3 playthrough is getting uploaded. Except for one part, because for some reason that file got corrupted. So what the fuck, Twitch? Son of a bitch. <laughs> that file got corrupted, sadly. Jesus, fuck. So, one of the, one of the episodes are going to be missing. Um... Later today, I'm going to be uploading uh, Psychonauts. We're, uh, we're near the end of that game, Psychonauts 2. And also going up along with that... What else was going up with um, Danganronpa and stuff? Just like, just like other streams that I did, I think, really, I was uploading. I recently put up um, Final Fantasy Origins. They had their second, their second beta go out, their second demo. So I played that, uploaded that, and uh, maybe, maybe, uh, I don't want to say later this week, because it's probably not going to be later this week. Maybe sometime next week, uh, there will be a new playthrough on the channel, in which we get to see the mystery gang again and solve mysteries. <laughs> With a dog. So, <laughs> that's going to be fun. I did that playthrough on my spare time, and that's already done, and I just got to edit that out, so... But, you know, until then, hope you guys are having a lovely day. Once again, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care. I'm a chef what else should I be? Please don't take on.